wife is loading our dining room chairs into my truck. I go, what are you doing? She says, I'm taking these chairs to my mom. We're going to give them to her. Now, people, I could give a crap about the chairs. I don't want them in my truck. I told her that. I said, not in my truck. See, people, that's my truck. I grew up in a little town called Gregory, Portland, Texas. That's where I grew up. Yeah. And in that town is a bunch of farmers, refinery workers, pipe fitters, welders, hard working people. And growing up, all I ever wanted was a Z71 Chevy Silverado, man. That's all I ever wanted. Yep. And I got it. And now she's loading chairs into it. I would say where I come from, that is a perfect truck for me, right? Humble, right? Hard working. By the way, me and my wife grew up in the same town. Same hardworking town. You would think that my wife would pick out a car that reflects where we come from. Oh, not her. She drives a Land Rover because her vagina only touches heated Italian leather. We come a long way from the Ultima I found her in. I go, why don't you put those chairs in your Land Rover? She goes, I don't want them in my Land Rover. Why can't we take your truck? I said, we can't take my truck, baby, because I love that truck. She goes, so? And I go, and if you drive it when I fish, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fish. And when I fish, you're going to drive that truck. She goes, what's wrong with that? I said, you have wrecked every vehicle that you've ever driven. And I don't want you to wreck my truck. But because I love my wife, we took my truck. I'm fishing with my dad. I get a text message from my wife, and it reads, hey, no big deal. <laughs> Any man that speaks wife already knows what's about to happen. No big deal. Call me when you're done fishing. Dot, dot, dot. This is how I knew I was fucked. Dot, dot, dot. Have fun. I go, oh, she wrecked my truck. <laughs> she never wants me to have fun. I called her up. First thing that comes out of her mouth is, don't be mad. I go, you wrecked my truck. And she goes, aren't you worried about me? I said, I'm not. You're talking to me. You're fine. What happened to my truck? You know those poles they put around gas station pumps? Yeah, they're there for my wife. If they weren't there, gas stations would be burning all over the country. I don't even know what my wife is doing in a gas station. My wife doesn't pump her own gas. I'm the asshole that pumps her gas. Yes. My wife's the kind of wife that she'll run out of gas in her car and call me and go, well, you fucked up. You ran out of gas in my car. I go, what were you doing in the gas station? She goes, I was pulling through. Not only did she wreck my truck, she continued to wreck my truck. Here's the truck. Well, she started to wreck it here. She was like, oh my God, I think I'm wrecking it. Let's really fuck it up. It's kind of fucked up that I'm the size of the pole right now. She wrecked it here, and she's like, you know what? Let's just finish the job. Let's... I, 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 she, I go, did you not feel that? And she goes, oh, my God, the whole truck was like that. I go, so then why didn't you stop it from going like that? And she goes, well, that's why I went faster. <laughs> <laughs> 